The light represents God, who is perfect and without sin. God loves us. He doesn't want us to perish, but to have everlasting life. The figure represents every person, like you and me, and the darkness, our sin. Sin is anything other than what God desires. The Bible says, All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Our sins separate us from God and must be removed. God loved us so much that He sent His only Son Jesus Christ to earth as a man. Jesus went to the cross, sinless, and paid for all our sins. Now we can come to God and have eternal life. John 3.16 says, God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus was buried in a tomb. They rolled a huge stone in front of it. Soldiers were set to guard the tomb. God raised Jesus from the dead and took him back to heaven. Jesus has paid the price for our sin and Jesus has conquered death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Through Jesus we can be forgiven of all our sins and be with God forever. We must choose to put our faith in Jesus, to trust in Him and to save us from sin. The Bible says that whoever believes in Jesus has eternal life and is not judged. The penalty for sin is death, but eternal life through Jesus is a free gift from God. What choice will you make? Trust in Jesus Christ to be forgiven and have eternal life? Or reject Jesus and suffer eternal punishment and fire? Open your heart to Jesus. Let's pray. God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on the cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith in Jesus. Forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just sincerely pray that prayer, you are a child of God. Your sins are forgiven and you have a new life in Christ. Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Read the Bible and you'll learn to love God's truth. A great place to start is the book of John. Pray to God. Talk and listen to God. In prayer you can thank and worship Him. Ask for His help. Confess your sins and pray for others. The Bible says we should grow together with other Christians meeting regularly for worship, prayer, Bible study and for helping each other. Tell others how much God loves them and how to have eternal life by trusting in Jesus to save them from sin. And Jesus said to them, Go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. God is perfect. Man is sinful and separated from God. Jesus died on a cross, paying for man's sin. Jesus was buried in a tomb. On the third day, Jesus rose from the tomb, victorious over sin and death. Only in the cross of Jesus does man have a bridge to heaven and eternal life. Where are you placing your faith? Here are some steps for followers of Christ. Love God and others. Study the Bible. Pray, talk, and listen to God. Grow with other Christians and tell others the good news about Jesus.